Hello everybody and welcome to Motorbike Garage Mechanic Simulator, sent to me by Fat Dog Games for me to do this first look video. The game comes out very soon, I'll put the download link below or the buy page below and um, yeah we're going to get straight into it today to see what this game has got to offer. So I did actually start the game, so we're going to continue from where we left off. Uh, the reason for this is mainly because it was a tutorial and there was quite a lot of information to take in but it wasn't really information necessary for a let's play video uh, since it was just about how to play the game and well I can demonstrate it to you now anyway so to save all of the reading of the, uh, the, the screens that appear I think we will just get straight into the repairing so this is our workshop and actually pretty decent we've, we've got quite a lot of stuff in here so what we're going to do is get the first job in as soon as possible we even have a forklift. Nice. Uh, yeah, so the phone, just over here, is where we can get jobs from. The laptop is where we can buy and sell parts. And that, I have no idea. Music. Oh, I see. Well, I think we can do without the music for today. But, yeah, nice to know anyway. Oh, I got an achievement for something. Right, so we're going to go into the phone. See if anybody's called us. Yes, we have got three jobs waiting for us, I think, or two jobs. Yeah, two jobs. We'll go for this one here. Hello, I would like to change something on my motorcycle. No, oh, that's keeping it brief. Uh, you want to change the foot starter lever. It is part FSL614. We'll accept that for you. Let's go and do it. So if we go back onto the laptop, we have a variety of different places we can buy parts from. Uh, this is like an auction site, Yee Buy or Yee Buy. Easy Loan, Loans. Um, if we double click on here, you can see Easy Loan is divided into two panels. Your account, where you can see the status of your account and loans that have been taken. And Take a Loan, where you can see your loan options. Uh, which we don't need to do today, because we're actually going to be just repairing fairly cheap uh, vehicles motorbikes. You can also change your backdrop, your desktop display. But to be honest, I'm quite happy with this one here. But what we need today is Frozen Monkey. So we obviously go to the place we need to go to, foot starter lever, and then choose the number which we require. We can see the number on here, FSL614. And it must just be the one of them. Close that down. $89 it's going to cost us. We'll buy it. Leave here. Press escape, and here is the motorbike, which needs to be moved onto the uh, motorbike stand. So if we go up to it, press R, we can move it, and then we have four different view modes. So we can actually use one, two, three, and four on the keyboard to go through them all. Repair mode is selected by pressing R to begin with, then we've got the disassembly mode, assembly mode, disassembly preview, and assembly preview, or one, two, three, four on the keyboard. So, yes, obviously we need to do the uh, starter lever which is going to be somewhere down here. Footrest, foot starter. I'm going to have to zoom in, I think, to be able to see this properly. There is the lever, just there. So we take that off, back into assembly mode, put the new one on, choose the correct number, and there it is. Now, that was obviously a very quick repair, um, but some of them will be fairly in depth. We also have the assembly preview, disassembly preview, so you can see everything that can be taken off. That's a lot of nuts and bolts and stuff. And yeah, I think we're done here. So if we go back over to the uh, phone, we should be able to complete the job, uh, which is this one here. And we can say we've finished it. Congratulations, you've reached a higher level. So my guess is that they are gonna become much more challenging as we get through these. Hey, I bought a new motorcycle recently, but something's not quite right. Time to improve. So they want mirrors. They want mirrors M822. They're willing to pay quite a bit of money for this, which is nice for us. But the place we want to be is Frozen Monkey. So let's just go and take a look for the correct parts. We've got M822, which is $329. We possibly require to, but I think it's actually a kit. But we can go over to other places just to see what they've got. And let's see if they've got any mirrors in stock. They do. Or is that our... No? That's their stuff. M822 is 246. And over here it's 329. 
Well, it's definitely cheaper. They might be used. Doesn't actually say. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a saving there, so we'll go for it. We'll buy that. So here is the bike on its stand. And we should be able to fit these now, hopefully. Into assembly mode. Oh, disassembly mode. Take these off first. I don't know if they're going to come straight off or if something else has to be taken off first. And the reason for this, if we go into the disassembly preview, is because there is a very small screw just here. So if we go back into disassembly mode, we can take the screw out, which was almost invisible before, and we can do it on either side too. And then we should be able to remove it. There we go. This part is too damaged to use again. Same with this one here. What do they do to it? Right, anyway. None of our business, I suppose. Let's put the new mirrors on. M822. There's number one. There is number two, and then finally we mustn't forget to put the screws in, or the bolts, because otherwise it's going to fly off and hit the driver in the face, or the rider in the face. There we go, and there we go. I would say that's done. Crikey, there's a lot of people wanting work done today. So if we go back onto here, we can now say we've finished it. And yeah, they've taken it, so they must have been very happy. We have another job. I bought a new motorcycle recently, but something is not quite right. Time to improve. You again. It must be the same person. Um, they want frame brackets and a front light. Of course, we need to make sure we remember these numbers very carefully. Otherwise, we'll be buying the wrong ones. So, if I go on to uh, Frozen Monkey, probably, we'll be able to locate these parts we require. First of all, front light, uh, FL413. The most important thing about that is the 413 rather than the FL. So 413 is what we're looking out for. Front light, 413. Okay, so that's $58. And the other thing we need to get is the frame bracket, which is 601. Frame bracket, 601, there we go. $319. So this may take a bit of fitting. Look at that stylish thing. Very nice. Right, press R to put it over here. And then we can go back into the work mode. And yeah, so to be honest, I don't have much knowledge of uh, motorbikes. So I, I'm i not entirely sure what the frame bracket is. Obviously, I know what the frame is. But the frame bracket, well, that's a different story. Bracket frame. Is that what it is? Yeah, looks like it is. They look identical. So if we go back into the... I just removed something I did not want to remove. My apologies, owner. I have just randomly removed a cable without your consent. <laughs> right, okay, so here we go. We're going to have to take some bolts down first. Uh, in fact, it looks like it's going to be quite a big job because a few things are holding this on. Now, where... Where do we have to start here? Oh, it's just a C-clip. Wow, that makes it easy. So I guess that'll pull off now. That's too damaged to keep. Same with this side. C-clip there. Must be using C-clip pliers. And that one comes off too. Okay, so this time we'll assemble it. We need to go into assembly mode. Put that on there. And put the C-clip back on. Good. A little bit fiddly. But it is fiddly in real life too. Make sure we select the correct part. Okay, and finally, just up here. Very sensitive. Okay, the other thing was the, the light, wasn't it? So we need to do the light too. There's a reflection in that light. Is that actually a reflection of the building? Let's see. It is! So we should have a, a red and a blue cabinet over here somewhere. Wow, that's good. Um, so yeah, we go back into the uh, disassembly mode. 
front light, something is holding it on. Probably on the back. Yep. But where exactly, I'm not too sure. Or is it the side? Surprising how complicated it is just to change the light. Well, it looks to be this uh, nut here. I would guess it is. It is. Everything's so damaged. Now I need to reassemble it with the new front light and put the nut back on. And hopefully that is the job done. Let's see what they think. Brilliant. We have another job in already. The ignition this time. Hello boss, I would like to change some parts in my motorcycle. That's fine, we can do that for you. We need to find the ignition. We need to find ignition part number 1020. 1020 just here. There's the ignition. You can look around and everything, zoom in. See the level of detail. So it's $111, $119, sorry. We'll buy that. And we'll go and fit it to this motorbike. We've had many motorbikes through here today. Okay, so it's on the uh, stand as usual. Let's go back into this. Uh, I'm assuming it's talking about the ignition on the dash rather than the ignition coil. Yeah, because it's definitely not a coil we've bought. So, yep, that looks to be the one. If we go into the disassembly preview again, we can see there are two screws holding that in place. So we'll whiz them out of there. And it should be a rapid job list. 1020. And I think that's job done. Was it really as simple as that? That was dead easy. It was. Nice. Well, there we go. That is just my very brief first look video at um, Garage Mechanic Motorbike Simulator. So, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. Obviously, it does remind me of other mechanic games as well. In fact, there's quite a lot of mechanic games now. Um, I think the market has really expanded for them. But, yeah, not I've not played any motorbike ones before. I mean, there's tractors, cars, loads of stuff. There's a truck as well. It might be a truck. So, motorbike is uh, sort of completing the, uh, the amount of vehicles you can do. There's trains as well. The train one. So... Uh, no, I've actually enjoyed that quite a lot. And I should think anybody who is a real motorbike enthusiast, they'll like it even more. Because like I say, I'm not, I don't really have much of an interest in motorbikes, but I do have an interest in mechanics. So yeah, still very interested in doing this kind of thing. Anyway, again, thank you to Fat Dog Games for sending this to me. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.